demon-possessed boy. Matthew 17, 14 through 18, Mark 9, 14 through 27, Luke 9, 37 through 43. One time a man came to Jesus with his boy that was possessed by a demon. He said to Jesus, Jesus, my son, he's, he's possessed by a terrible demon. It, it torments him day and night. It makes him stiff as a board, grind his teeth, foams at the mouth. He can't speak or hear. It's thrown him into fires and it's tried to drown him in water. I asked your disciples if they could heal him. But they couldn't do it. Please, Jesus, can, can you help him? Jesus was pretty upset, but merciful, and said, How long must I stay with you? How long must I put up with you? How long must I be here with you? Bring me to the boy. How long has he been like? since he was a child. I can't count the number of times that spirit has tried to kill him. Please, Jesus, help him, if you can. If I can, everything is possible for someone who believes and has faith. Then the father said, I do have faith, but not enough. Please help me have more. Jesus looked around and noticed the crowd getting bigger and closer, so he commanded the evil spirit. Death and dumb spirit, I order you to come out of the boy and never return again. The spirit screamed <coughs> and threw the boy into a terrible fit. The father thought he was dead. Then Jesus took the boy by the hand, helped him up, and gave him back to his father. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jesus. The man born blind. John 9, 1 through 34. Once Jesus was walking along with his disciples, and they saw a man that had been born blind. He was begging for money. The disciples asked Jesus, who sinned, this man or his parents, to make him blind? Many people back then believed sin is what caused physical and mental handicaps. Well, Jesus replied, Neither this man nor his parents sin that he be born blind. He's blind so that the glory of God can be revealed through him. Then Jesus knelt down and made some mud with a spit and rubbed it on the man's eyes. This was a little unorthodox, but it had a great result. Jesus then said, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. went on their way. But the man's story was not done. People began to look at him and ask, is this the blind beggar? Yes, it, it, it's really me. Some said, no, it only looks like him. I told you it's me. The, the man, the, the, the man, the man they called Jesus, he healed me. Some Pharisees, church leaders that didn't like Jesus, found the man and began to ask him and even his parents questions like, Who healed you? 
Who healed your son? Who is he? Were you really born blind? What exactly happened? His parents wanted nothing to do with this whole thing. But the man, he gave them more than an earful. I told you. The prophet, the one they called Jesus, well, he took some dirt and he, he spit in it and then put it in my eyes and he told me to go, go wash. And I did. And I came back seeing. And after what he's done, you want me to believe that he's not who he said he was, the Son of God? We know that God doesn't do miracles through sinners, but only through those who love and obey him. He's obviously sent from heaven. Otherwise, how could he do this? All I know is, I once was blind, and now, now I see. I can see. I have evidence. How else would you explain this? The Pharisees called him a sinner and refused to believe the truth. What about you? These and other miracles are well documented in the Bible and backed up with historical evidence. They are there so that you can know Jesus and be his son or daughter with everything you've got. And if you're a parent, he wants to have your kids know him too by putting your trust in him. Being a son or daughter is automatic for us all, but being a good one to God, that's a decision that's up to you. God hopes that you'll make that right decision today and every day with your obedience. You are now listening to nm3dots.com Free download Thank you for your support You are now listening to nm3dots.com Free download this is not a secret, tight hole, like no spiteful, lack of insightful, not no rival, so society, hold no eye, it's irony, cat alone a thousand, my propriety, more than the zeitgeist, hands down decidedly, the king of Babylon ate pine, then no pine of me, some of the council said finally, I'm patient, think refinery, think about the peace, be still, voice, real choice, third seal, big reveal at all, lay hands, Heal them all, cast the net, get them all, highways, byways, meet them all.